guys good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are in the world welcome back to my channel i am soraya i'm a shaman intuitive light worker excuse my voice it's working on the healing process i got rowdy um welcome to your may read and we are sitting on the floor to help ground us out i think the earth really needs that right now everybody's topsy-turvy and all over so welcome to my sacred space i'm gonna smudge and wrap the same bowl to cleanse out any energies so we can connect let this be a place of healing of connection of love and understanding Let us be cleansed, clean, pure, surrounded in love and light. May we be surrounded by angels and the wings of love. Let us feel their presence and their guidance. Let this be a place of healing, of light. Let us connect to our purpose, prosperity, happiness. Help us connect to our soul. Connect to the light. I was just meditating on your energy or on May's energy. Now let's do the singing bowl first. Let our space be cleansed and pure. Okay. I was meditating on the energies. And for me, a lot of it is going to be a lot of releasing. We have Saturn um, <clears throat> going retrograde and Venus going retrograde. And a meteor. She's big. So that's going to change our energy, magnetic pull a little bit. It's going to bring us to within. And also more of a spiritual sense. Neptune is being a big part of our energy too right now. The spiritual sense of things. So people are going to be tuning into their past, purpose, structure, discipline, health. And finding ways to make that more easier for them. And Venus going retrograde is going to bring us within for self-love, understanding, how can we have better connections? How can we connect with people around us? But what do we need to release from within to help with those connections, to help with that love, to help with that structure, to help with that self-discipline? And I'm also seeing 
on a galactic level, there is a lot of darkness being released. But there's also a lot of light. Like, So if anybody needs any help with a lot of karmic releasing going on right now, big time. We don't have to get stuck in those patterns. Venus and Saturn are here to help with that. They're here to help us release that karma. Help us release those things from our soul. Help us release those things from our past. And heal in love and discipline. And we can release these once it's easier to release them when we make a conscious choice not to get stuck in those same old cycles. To look at it from a karmic soul standpoint so we can um, get a different visual aspect, a different perspective. <clears throat> and the light is here to help us. So if anybody needs any help, prayer, meditation. Um, even just going within with your own self helps release that. If you need help with that, your angels are always there with you to help. Your ancestors are always there to help. Just speak it. Put it out there. What the heck do I do with this? Angels, I need your help today. Patience, understanding, where is this coming from? How do I step away from this cycle and release that? It gives it a different aspect and it gives it a different energy. And then we can look at it differently and release it from within. So we can emerge more pure and light. Once we release that karma, it's going to be easier for us to step up to the next soul level in our global ascension process. We are in a state of mass awakening. It's a lot more light now than it used to be. So that's amazingly beautiful. I can see things from a galactic standpoint, meaning I... It's part of being a galactic shaman. I don't say that too many times because I, I like to stay on Earth to help Earth ascend. But being able to see it from a global galaxy-like vision is helpful to see the outside energies. Um, Venus and Saturn just went conduct. Was it Venus and Saturn? I don't know if I wrote that down or not. Venus and Saturn in conjunct in Capricorn. So that's a lot of grounding. We need to remember to stay grounded in that. With so much, I see a lot of psychic attacks, a lot of negative energy being released, a lot of negative energy in our towns and our homes. With being in quarantine so much, I see a lot of frustration, a lot of anger, anxiety, um, Vivid dreams that are out of this world. Maybe not so much out of this world, but you don't know exactly where they're coming from. That is trying to release those karmic things from our soul. It helps to stay grounded when we're in this stage of awakening. Because the darkness, psychic attacks, negativity, fighting, anger, all of that is trying to keep us in this deadlock state. So staying grounded is going to help. Asking your angels for help is going to... Asking our angels for help will help. There's also a lot of star families. Like, they're off to the right. I'm not. And they're here to connect with us also. If people think it's far-fetched. Far Sorry, my voice. <laughs> to believe in aliens and other galactic beings then it's time to wake up because we're not the only ones in our universe <laughs> we are star seeds we are indigos we are earth angels we are parts of our souls have been in many 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 different places <clears throat> they're here to connect with us they're here to help just like our angels, they're here to assist us in this global mass awakening. I have seen a lot of suicides and depression. This is, with it being a mass awakening and the be beginning of the end and end of the beginning, we are stepping into a new age, golden age, age of Aquarius. 
balance and understanding and love. Aquarius is very much all of those things. And it's a couple of thousand years or something that we're in this stage. When we get stuck in our heads in that darkness and depression, we lose sight of love. Self-worth. We don't look at things from an outside standpoint. We look at things from a dark, misunderstood, unloved standpoint. Know that that doesn't have to be the way it is. <clears throat> You're strong. You're of the light. You can release anything. You can heal from anything. We have, we've made it through hell. But those things can be released and healed. Know that there's help, there's hope, you are loved. Dear one, know that we are there for you. Stand in your power, stand in your truth. For it is time to shed the darkness from our beings and from our earth, from our vessels. It is time to connect on different levels. For here, we are here to assist. We are here to help. We are here to heal. Listen to the call of your soul, for let it guide the way, for it knows what's best for you. On a galactic standpoint, Earth has been changing drastically in radical ways. The light has the upper hand, but know that the darkness is still trying to interfere with this mass awakening. Dear ones, now is the time to stand and fight against this darkness, psychic attacks, demonic activity, reptilians, governmental demons, personal demons, addictions, dark forces, Know that it is time to stand and fight these. For you are strong, you are of the light. This is your call. Do not be overtaken by the hypnotic view, view standpoints. Of ever, any negative energy and entity. Discernment is key. Standing in your light and power is necessary. Know that you can do anything. For, for help, we are here. We are guiding this ascension. Believe, awaken, trust. Believe, awaken, trust. We are the Galactic Council. We stand ready.
<clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Let me share that with you. Well, that was unexpected. Welcome. Welcome. The Galactic Council is different races, different from around the galaxy. And they are here to help us ascend, protect us from the darkness on our land and, and uh, our people land. And our uh, not atmosphere, nice no, stutter. <laughs> Galaxy. There you go. Okay, here we go. Let's get to the May reading. <sighs> Still a lot of energy. It's an honor to be able to do that for them. Part of channeling and being here to help the mass awakening of the planet. It's an honor to be able to connect with other beings, spirits. It's, it's amazing. Okay. We're going to do like a main May energy. And then we're going to go around for like the rest of the month. Okay, so what is May's main energy, please? Oof. Mars. Warrior planet. Amazing. Oof, da. It's a standard fight. He is. <laughs> Understatement there. It's like the strongest, most fierce planet. It's awesome. Okay, let's go to the higher power to watch release back to this cycle. It'll be a month cycle, please. End of air. So air sign, Gemini, right? Air signs, but it's coming into the Gemini time. Let's see, one, two. Yeah. So there's that grounding base and root. If somebody's mind's going amok, that's that psychic attack I was picking up on. I think that's on a global scale. The wheel, but it's not upside down, it's not right side up. So I'm just going to leave it just like that. balance. That's about what it looked like too from a galactic standpoint. Cool. It's too many. The devil tried to poke out. So there's that darkness I was talking about. Trying to get the best of us. The world. 
Uranus. That's what it was. It was Uranus and Venus. I think that just went conjunct, which means they're like across from each other. So their energies are together. Initiation. Something in the cold book. We got the world here, so I'm going to leave that one. Okay. We got our base here. Give me another one for this higher power up here. needs to be writing their own book. Seeking balance. Destiny there. Put these under her. And I'm going to turn her right side up. Because we want her to be grounded. Both in the heavens and in the earth. Very dolphin energy. Playful. Childlike. Here, the playful really stands out there. Okay, we have the four of air. This is omens, fear, a path, loneliness, but that's reverse, so that's beautiful. Ace of fire, passion, man, maiden of earth, young, grounded, flowing. meditation card meditation will really help release those things from the soul and from the mind when it's reversed it means our thoughts are a muck like our mind is getting the best of us our thoughts are going like crazy it's hard to focus on one thing because they're like over and over back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth the world here isn't upside down it's not right side up i'm gonna turn it right side up and i'm gonna put a crystal on it because we want to continue to release these things to come into balance and the world here is a beautiful card to have there at the end here it's a very divine knowledge the universe the divine it's going to bring something And both ancestral and galactic. It's going to help us keep that balance. That's beautiful. Okay. Can you tell me about Mars? It was reversed so i'm looking at, at that at releasing blocks because there's this beaver dam up here and it's of water it's of emotion but it's breaking through that dam it's breaking through them blocks <clears throat> both emotional and mental but I, i'm feeling that like right here so it's our our god spark our breath is in our solar plexus i'm feeling it in between the heart and the solar plexus so it's like a very soul deep not completely to our base but it's a very soul deep release i'm gonna leave that that way so that's awesome it's beautiful already what's this what's this and of wands i'm gonna put them back though okay can you tell me about the maiden up here harvest beautiful beautiful okay harvest here the maiden. <laughs> Beautiful. I had priest. Very sun. Light. I see...
he is using all his power to bless his watering bowl. He's making holy water. He knows how to connect with the heavens, to stay grounded in his ancestors and in the earth. And he is making holy water to share it with the village and his people. He is standing strong with the standing stones of justice, of faith, of hope, of protection, of balance. It's beautiful. Beautiful. We'll get, oh, well, there's two more, I guess. Oh, there's the standing stone. <laughs> and the queen of swords. So she is, she is standing on top of that warrior planet like, oof. She's very open in the third eye. There is spirit guides who are trying to communicate with her. So if you guys have been seeing animals over and over, strange ones, say a fox, certain birds, you see them in weird places. That is spirit trying to get your attention. Like, hey, we have a message for you. So keep your eyes open because she's not looking at that. She's looking at her third eye. She's looking at the flowers. She's looking at the... She's looking at the task at camp. But she's strong, though. Okay, tell me about these omens right here. Temperance. Justice. That's immediately the first thing I see. But also healing. Knowing your worth. Knowing how to stand in your power. Use the elements around you. She is connecting very much with spirit. She's listening. And this Queen of Swords is looking right down at her. So that's awesome. Continue listening to spirit, to your guides and angels. It's necessary for this transition. And she is in ritual. Very ritualistic, both of them. She's working on something important to her spiritually. Like she's guided by her guides very strongly. They're like, there's no outside influences there. They're protecting her mind. They're protecting her heart, her throat chakra. Stretch out a little bit. Oh, she's a smart cookie there. But as temperance, that's also balance, justice. Like releasing and receiving, releasing and receiving, but bringing it in a balance. Sun at the bottom of the deck. So she's releasing whatever is interfering with that happiness. Okay. Give me one more. It's uh, death reversed. So she's coming through a rebirth, which is perfect for coming into spring, coming into summer. Um, what's going on globally? Queen of Cups. She is giving, loving, healing, nurturing, full of emotion and love. It's beautiful. Can you tell me about this Eighth of Fire here? So many lights. So that could be an adventure. Somebody coming into your life that's adventurous. Somebody new. Somebody full of passion, excitement. But I'm not going to take any any. Not, I'm going to try not to anyway. Take any wands. Seven of Swords. Communication, diplomacy. Um, protect your home. Protect your heart. I'm seeing like interference on a spiritual standpoint. Four cups. 
reversed, not right side up. There's some sort of offer. Somebody's about to offer a cup. Protect your, we just got the three of swords reversed. It, it's either somebody coming out of a broken heart, fear of loss. Um, but in this deck, it says maliciousness. So, especially when I was just seeing that darkness, protect your home. Give me another one for this passion. Three and four down here. Another three. Hmm. Three pence. It's right side up. There's that offer though. <clears throat> so offer from teacher, spirit, universe, the world, divine something. Whatever this offer is you're passionate about because it's on top of the ace. A wand's there. But with this three of swords reversed, she might not even see it. Or he, sorry. Because she's looking at her home. Going at it alone, like She's not going to let it stop her, though. She's kind of looking up towards that. But she, I kind of sense she's got some blinders on. Death with the Nine of Cups. Could be outside interference with your happiness. Just trying to understand that. Wanted to be good and thorough. Can you tell me about this death in the Nine of Cups over here? Especially with malicious activity. Be careful. Like, pay attention to your passions. To judgment reverse. That's probably not a good thing. Give me another one. King of Pentacles reversed. Hey, what are you doing with your pen, ten stake? Um, I can't, I can't that. Go put it back. Nuh-uh, go put it back. Those are brand new tents, love. <laughs> Something isn't right over there. It's, uh... Let me just in a little bit there. Can you help me see and understand what's going on with this situation right here?
Somebody's stomping their foot. Like they're putting their foot down on something. So that's a good thing. I see darkness like spewing out from under their foot like they're stepping in a puddle, but it's darkness. Like they're like, get gone. And they look of the light. They're like, wearing like some blue jeans and like a long blue shirt, like a, an angel blue, which is a healer's blue. A little darker. I see uh, like people angrily of faces around them. Sorry. And they're like, meh, 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 meh. I see their lips moving. I see like anger coming out of their mouth, but I can't hear any words. I have frustration. Watch your back. Okay. I've seen the warning. Can I see the outcome? I see light. careful with the anger like you don't want to act in anger you're releasing darkness yes but at what cost like you don't want nothing to come back on you you know everything happens for a reason and some people are having a really hard time right now I see like a car come and pick somebody up. It is light though. I see like the sun shining. I see bags packed. The person is like in really old fashioned clothes. Maybe not too old. Pretty old fashioned though. Not like. It's pretty old. I don't know why it would represent that. Maybe a soul's release. Soul's journey. Karmic release. That's what that is. So this is somebody that you've known in a past life. You might not know it now. So how can we protect ourselves as individuals in this situation? Honestly, they're stabbing themselves in the heart, like the person, the individual. There's light around them, though. Light, light on this side, dark on this side. But this darkness is going away. But something is very painful to the heart. I see it releasing through the body, though. So, like, from the ancestral line, it will release. But it's going to be...
You do see the person being very protective though. Pray for the angels to protect this person, to protect this person's family. I pray for the light to fill their homes, their house, their children, their animals, whatever, with light. Let it be completely protected and surrounded in a complete and total grid and bubble of light and love. Let the angels come forward and completely and totally surround this house in light to release any darkness within this house, to release any darkness within the hearts so they can completely and totally rid themselves of that in their lives, in their future. For their past is not their future. Their past is their past. Let them be released from it. Let it be just. Let them be safe. Let them be protected. Please let them be protected. I'm kind of putting a globe of light around them now. I see the children being surrounded by light now too. They're just children. I see like a brown short hair, cute little thing, missing front tooth. <laughs> That could just be my uh, vision of a child, but it could also be somebody's personal. I see a rainbow around it now, so that's beautiful, beautiful. Let their house be completely surrounded in light, so no darkness can enter no more. So it is. Now let's throw a card and see what that looks like there. Ace of Swords, so there's going to be clarity about something. It's good. Eight of Cups reversed. The wheel. Upright. So that's awesome. One more outcome of that. I almost said Tyrant tyrannical tyrant situation uh, um i just had goosebumps so whoever that is referring to I, I i pray for you i send the angels to protect you i ask for love and forgiveness to surround you i ask for your heart to be protected i just heard out i'm sorry <laughs> king of swords see i thought i saw a male figure afterwards outcome seven of pence that's nice that's destiny one more please for outcome of that situation Oof. seven of swords Justice reverse the bottom of the deck. So it might be time to put something away. I see that heart again really strong. It's time to let go of something. There's the four of cups again. But there's that offer though. Like where there's release, there's something that's going to come in. So try and remember that when you're going through all this. Can you tell me about this offer? Oof, da. Oof, da. Strength. 
Struggles reverse. Ace of Cups. Beautiful. There's too many though. Just one or two. Please tell me about this offer. So that's good. But I, I, I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna be a struggle. It's gonna be heart wrenching. It's gonna be. That's, that's too many. I did see the fool and the hangman though. Good fool. Nine of Cups. Nine of Wands. Well, intemperance. So there's gonna be healing. There's gonna be balance. I'm gonna turn this Nine of Cups up right for you. Nine and nine. So whatever the spiritual meaning to nine nine is, um, I'm not exactly sure. But look up angel number nine nine. It will help. I did turn. It's not gonna be happy for a minute. It's gonna be a struggle. There's outside. I almost said contamination. But it's gonna be okay because it's gonna lead to something new, something fresh. There we go. Okay, back to back to it, right? She's gonna come out grounded though. You're gonna come out grounded. Tell me about this being of earth. Ten of pence. So it's gonna bring stability to your family. Give me another one. That's good. I can breathe for you. <laughs> breathe. It's gonna be okay. There's gonna be a little bit of loss. The two of wands is courage. It's reversed. I'm going to turn the right side up for you and I'm going to put a crystal on it. But there's going to be a little loss. But the Ten of Pence is right out. So that's good. Whatever this loss is, to let it go for a new beginning is necessary. And look at how beautiful this Four of Cups is. It's like a spiritual offer. I mean, they're resting. Hopefully you see it. You'll see it because it's a spiritual offer. I mean, you can't not see it, right? Don't be after this hardship, whatever this is. Um, Don't be... I'm hearing like greedy to your three cups because you're going to get another cup offered to you of some sort of spiritual offer. Okay, tell me about meditation down here. Love is trying to poke up. Um, Nine of Wands. Oh, <laughs> it's too many. The Lovers, Page of Wands. So somebody new, somebody fresh, and the Star reversed. That was too many, though. Can I just have one or two, please? One more, that's Nine of Swords, reverse. So, releasing that darkness and fear. You have to make a choice about something. I will ask about the choice with a different deck. Tell me about the world here. Can I come in? Please. Something you've been manifesting is going to come to flourishing. Give me one more for that, please. It's going to be hard work, though. One more. What are we manifesting? And it's going to come back around for us. Ooh. You're not going to be confused about it, but it's a three of wands, which is success. Victory. Your ships are coming in. Close with this offer over here. It's going to be beautiful. So like the last midweek, mid-month. Tell me about balance. Tell me about the ten of earth there. And now I want to keep trying to poke out. So somebody who's probably going to come into your life that's adventurous. I'm not going to, I'm putting that one back. It was the Eight of Swords. She bound to something. So you're going to be leaving difficulties at the end of the month. Something's still going to be hidden. And you're going to... Tower moment. Something needs to be released. When it comes to family. It's too many though. Too many. I 
Priest, Five of Wands, Seven of Pents, High Priestess. This is still four. Okay. So this is the Goddess and the High Priestess together. Very feminine energy. But the Five of Wands, though, there might be some sort of struggle when it comes to destiny and healing. But it's balanced there. So it's you're going to... And there's the world. Tell me about the world up here. So it's going to be... A five Tell me about the world. Okay, all right, all right. Ace of Pens. Beautiful. There's that spiritual offer. So, and there's a two of cups there that came with it. Give me one more for the world. The green man. Oh, man. Six of Pens. So it's going to be definitely spiritual offer. You're going to be frustrated about it, though, because you don't see it coming. But it's divine timing, though, with the Seven of Pens there. Somebody's activating their crown chakra. What is this? Why is this way over here? Six of Wands. With the Nine of Pens. Okay, I'm going to get it, grab this one and clarify a couple, too. Get this good... We want to really understand this good. Tell me about this pile right here. Chariot, something's going to be moving. It's going to be slow moving though because it came out reversed. But I'm not going to put it on the reversed. So something will be moving forward when it comes to family. Okay, tell me about this fear. Queen of Cups reversed. And this decision. Queen of Wands. Something that excites her or him. Right under this block in the wheel here. A lot of fire energy. Make sure you keep this energy channeled. There's Or a good release. Because there's a lot of energy here. If you get stuck in it, especially after this kebab old mess over here. If you get stuck in it, it's going to be hard to see anything coming. So keep the energy flowing. Exercise. A channel. Like gardening. Writing. Whatever it is that you do to release that energy, do so. Because it's going to be... I feel like my skin is almost on fire. So make sure you're releasing that so you're not creating a block for yourself. Especially with the block card right here. Okay, can you tell me about the Queen of Cups up here with this omen and releasing and the Sid right there. Temperance. Seven events. See, it's reversed there but it's right out here that's awesome so it's at the beginning of the month is rocky ain't gonna lie like i send the angels to protect you rocky but it's gonna turn around okay tell me about the three of wands over here with the magician and the wheel queen of pets ooh, ooh, she's the best queen in the deck stable steady sturdy strong standing in her power so that's awesome. She goes from the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups to the Queen of Fire to the Queen of Pents. So she is... And then up here we have the... And we have the High Priestess. Yeah, the High Priestess and the Empress. So, bam. So, sorry. So, so, so. It might be so, so. <laughs> but stay focused on releasing that energy and keeping your eyes open for the spiritual gifts. It's going to be beautiful. Oops. Pence. She's not going to be juggling anything. She's standing in her power now. Especially going right to the, those two Empress and the High Priestess. This could be masculine or feminine. Masculine. Male or female. Masculine or feminine. But they're just in their feminine energy. They're very in tune with that. Or they're you know in their feminine energy. Okay. Tell me about this pile right here with the uh, balance. Perfect balance. It's too many. So they're releasing fear. What's that? What's that? Seven of Wands. Struggle a bit. Look about the frustration. Seven of Wands again. Hi, Abby. No, no, you can't be on my cards, honey. Hi. Yes, hello. Hi. Hey, watch out, love. The magician reversed. So I'm, I'm really fearing that, 
with this magician reversed right here um you might not see this coming because there's so much energy stay channeled stay open keep it flowing and move something is hidden especially with the magician in reverse tell me what the world up there it uh nine of pence it's beautiful though i mean look at all this stuff up there it's rough start Move with the world and that pile of stuff up there. Three swords. It's gonna be a struggle to release. Don't get stuck in that though. Don't 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 get stuck in that energy. Like, don't get stuck in that energy. Release the block. Keep the fire going. Keep your passion going. Keep yourself focused on your goals. Keep your eyes open. Your spirit is going to give you a gift. Don't be blinded by the bullshit so you don't see the gift. Seriously. Nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Look at her. She's covering her ears. Her eyes are closed. Do not be blinded by the darkness. Do not. Lord and Lady God, source creator, please let us see clearly. Let this energy not block us. Let, let it flow through us. Let us be able to see these gifts that are being offered to us of love, of prosperity, of light, for we've earned it. It's been a long, hard struggle. Let us stand in this power of light and love. Let us see clearly. Let nothing interfere with our gifts, with our purpose, with our prosperity and love. And so it is. Nine of Wands or Nine of Swords. Ten of Pents. Thank you. <laughs> so pray. Seriously. Pray. It, it helps. Open the Bible. There's good stories in there. There's good stuff in there. There's good words in there. If it doesn't resonate with you, seriously, what I do, I put my hands on the book and I ask, like, what do I need help with? What is bothering me? Where's my blocks? Where's my struggles? Where's my worries? I put my hands on the book. I open the book. I read whatever my eyes are pulled to first. If it doesn't resonate, I do it again. Because sometimes our mind and hearts can't understand it because of the struggle that we're going through. It's completely and totally natural. If you don't read the book from front to finish, that is completely and totally okay. Meditation. Connecting. Getting outdoors and connecting with spirit, with the earth, with yourself. For God's sake, with yourself helps release this struggle it keeps this energy flowing so we can see these blessings coming towards us so we don't get stuck with our blinders on in the frustration and darkness that's the biggest thing that is the point of the darkness he, they he it's like they want to keep you blinded they want to keep you shuttered they want to keep you in they don't want your light to shine why would they want your light to shine then they're losing remember that you are a light being you're beautiful a beautiful soul, a warrior of light. Don't let them shutter you in. Don't let them block you. Like, break break free from that. Like, I will not be shut in by the darkness. I will stand in my light. I will stand in my power. And I will defeat any darkness that comes in my presence. And so it is. Amen. Lost <sighs> out there. It's good for you. That was a powerful one. Gave me goosebumps. Complete and totally release for you. It's a good video. If there's any other messages. Beautiful outcome. Sorry I got all mama bear on you. <laughs> Whatever. It's my job. <laughs> I'm good at it. I'm good at it. <laughs> there's that three of swords. Are there any other messages? Like... Is that Ace of Cups? Boop, boop. I love that card. That's like my favorite. My cup will be overflowing with light and love and prosperity, gifts and abundance. May my coffers overflow, for we have earned it. Amen. Any other messages? Well, I'm on a roll now. I'm all fired up. <laughs> Is 
is a high priestess. Beautiful. We'll take her out. See this, I don't know how that just happened, but this block card, this page of uh, cups, it was just flipped over. I'm not sure how that happened, but I'm going to leave it like that because we're going to, we're turning our backs to that block. We're praying to release that. We are standing in our power. We are standing in the flow of abundance. I am in the flow of abundance. I am releasing the darkness around me. I am standing in my power. I am standing in my truth. I am releasing the darkness within me. I will no longer let this darkness affect me. Some good, uh, Positive affirmations and mantras for you. They really do work. I use them frequently. And they are, they're sometimes always different, but there's always usually a few that are the same. And it's whatever you need to give you that boost. Especially when we have this meditation card down here that is, it's reversed. When I can't meditate, my mind is going a million miles an hour. I'm a daily meditator a couple times a day. It still happens to me. It does. It just, it's life. It's stress. It's darkness. It's whatever it is. When it gets like that, I do I have positive mantras through my head. Positive affirmations. It helps me ground that energy in and it like pushes all the confusion, darkness, psychic attacks, whatever it is. It pushes all that out so I can be centered with myself. If if I can't meditate, it's hard to connect. Even for a couple weeks, sometimes it happens to me. When that happens, I have positive affirmations. I'm serious with some good music in your ears. Some Hertz, uh, 432, 528. Um, I was just listening to one earlier. I will post it on my page here. It's There's like a couple different ones, 444, 111, but it's like a spiritual reset with a flute. Something that's relaxing to you that helps you tune the rest of that shit out. Excuse my language. Um, it really, really, really helps find your center. Like here, I'm holding my hands open, so... It's you're opening yourself up to that. We are soul beings. Our vessel is a vessel to hold our soul, to hold our light, to hold our divine light. Like we are divine beings. Our vessel is a beautiful thing. We want to find our center in that and find our center in earth and in the heavens. So we got this energy flowing through us. It is a flow of universal flow of energy. See, I got goosebumps just doing it. Staying grounding in that and let that energy flow and positive affirmations strengthens our breath, our God spark. So eventually our, our God spark is our aura and it's so big that we raise our vibration and we can connect to them higher frequencies to our ascended masters, to our guides and angels. However it is you look at it, if you don't think it's real, whatever to which their own. For me, they're there. Mm -hmm. I connect with them daily usually to be in that flow raises our vibration like maybe i should do a meditation for that because my spirit's been wanting me to do it for a long time i just stumble over my words if i get my own way <laughs> but being in that flow letting that flow through your memory stay grounded in all of those creates a shield around you so if even just for that meditative second 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 at least you should do. I I think it really, to stand in your own center, to stand in your own power, to connect with your own soul, there is infinite wisdom, infinite wisdom. And you can heal yourself. You can help others heal. You can connect psychically. You can, the possibilities are endless. You're your soul in the astral realm and your, I shouldn't just say the astral realm, but my beliefs, your soul has infinite wisdom. We'll leave it at that without a 10 hour conversation. Uh, it's important to find that center. Positive affirmations. I will post that link of the spiritual reset. I listen to that almost a lot. Actually, I like the flute. It's relaxing to me. I also listen to nature sounds. Usually it's got water in it because I'm I'm a water girl. I like to sit next to the river and just... <sighs> so however that goes for you, it will help, like I almost said retract the darkness, but it will help keep that away. It will help you stand in the positivity and the light so you can defeat that darkness. There you go. Okay. Enough said. There's rambling on. Rambling on. Okay, any final messages from the Oracle deck? Oh, wow, okay. That was over 
exaggeration, guys. Ha ha. <laughs> Creation. That's what we were just talking about there. That astral realm and the soul and infinite knowledge. Infinite creation. Okay. We can't celebrate, but it's reverse. Well, I, those aren't reversed. There's no reverse in this deck. But <sighs> Any more messages? Wake up call. There's that wake up call right there. So stay grounded. The wake up call is straight up slap in the face. Something you saw coming. It's falling apart. Something is right. Uh, maybe I should read it. This is a may read and it is extended, right? Let's find my book. Excuse my voice. I know I'm, I'm losing it. Oh. You are getting a wake-up call. It may be in the form of a significant loss or other dramatic event in your life. Typically one that you were not prepared for initially. You may not, or sorry, you may feel stunned at first, surprised by the unexpected events that are occurring. Yet you are also know that it is time to draw back this curtain of avoidance and denial and confront the truth that exists in the subtexts of this event. You are experiencing a real-life drama, so there is no need to amplify it more than it already is. Often when you look back after something like this has passed, you can recall signs that foreshadowed it happening. There may be obvious clues that you ignored or omens that you that were substal, substal they were easy to dismiss in imaginings of the mind rather than the voice of your instincts. There are many in antidotes about animals operating purely in instinct, picking up on clues and naturally seeking higher ground before an approaching tsunami reaches the land. To, ne uh, to negotiate this wake-up call, listen close to your instincts while at the same time seeking the higher ground of spiritual truth. Tough one. I feel the energy in that. I feel the worry in that. Know that it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Okay. Grounding. You have been feeling scattered and spacey lately. You are not fully in your body, and that is because you are not able, you have not been able to get grounded. This is quite literal in that your body is made of materials of earth. So when you feel disconnected from your body, you are inevitably disconnected from earth. So get yourself grounded. You can do so quite simply. With your feet firmly planted on the ground, wherever you are, feel the etheric roots that extend into the earth. Follow your breath so that each time you exhale, you can imagine these roots going even deeper. Each time you inhale, draw up the loving, nurturing power of Mother Earth. As soon as you have the chance to go outside and sit on the ground with your back supported by a tree, feel its solidness and integrity. It is simply being a tree. Breathe in the essence of the tree spirit and allow this to fill you up. Walk barefoot very slowly on the ground so that you can maintain this connection. So that is definitely for the hardship that's going to be at the beginning-ish of the month. But it's going to be okay. It's going to lead to an awakening was the first thing that came to my mind. Thank you, Spirit. To an activation. I'll leave it at that. Dance, dance, dance. This is what I was talking about with that energy. Keep that energy flowing. Don't get stuck in anything. Okay, here we go. The sacredness of a celebration is dependent upon the quality of spirit that is present the sacredness of any celebration is dependent upon the quality of spirit that is present the quality of spirit is greater to the degree that you are fully present with minimal inhibitions about expressing your joy and happiness through physical movement focus on what you want to celebrate put on some music and dance whether slow or fast sing a song while you do so make one up 
about what you most have to celebrate. God's wish is for everyone to enjoy their time on earth. And part of that wish is to celebrate your capacity to be joyous and express it through your body. Whether in private or a small group of friends or a large communion, uh, communal gathering, let music, song, and dance be a part of your sacred ceremony, regardless of what you are celebrating. For truly any celebration is sacred. Beautiful. I feel like there's one more message. Something is a muck. Any more messages from this deck, please? Sorry. I need to get ready to. Be vulnerable. The metal. I've been seeing that card in a long time. That would really make sense though with Venus and um, Sagittarius. Everything going on there. Definitely Venus. He's there. He's always there. He is my boy. It is his job to protect me. <laughs> oh, too far. Why'd you decide to move the table out of the way? Because I'm. I needed to be grounded. I think everybody needs to be grounded right now. And it's sacred space, sitting on the floor on a pillow. We're gonna put it back. Yeah, eventually. I've been meditating in here a lot. Okay, last one. You are in a place now where you can take risks with your feelings. And even more importantly, take risks with the truth of who you are. The truth you know in your heart and soul. You no longer need to be subject to your conditional fears of letting others know who you are. Yes, others may judge, evaluate, criticize, and perhaps even put you down. These are very real possibilities. Yet, by trusting that you have the strength to deal with these reactions, rather than responding adaptively and allow, uh, always playing it safe, you can more confidently allow yourself to be vulnerable. Always holding back from expressing your truth can create an uh, illusion of safety. But armed with your trust and your faith, you can choose to be vulnerable and share your authentic self with the world. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So that was your May read. I hope it was good. I hope it was helpful. Very thorough for a lot of different messages for a few different people. Uh, whatever messages you take out of it is whatever you needed to hear at the time. It is timeless, but based in this month. When you pick up the messages, though, it's important for you to know that that's the time for you to hear them. Our brain can only consciously take in what it's ready for. So even if you come back and watch this in like a month or two, because it resonates with you like a lot, you will get another message afterwards like, oh, light bulb, you know. So yeah, I hope it was helpful. I hope it was great. If everybody needs a private read, feel free to email me. Um, check me out on Facebook, Awakening With Me. I do daily energies a lot and psychic healings quite a bit. I try to go on there almost every day, you know, if I'm guided to. So yeah. I hope it was awesome and helpful. I hope you have a beautiful day, a beautiful month. To anybody that has birthdays this month, happy birthday. Um, may it be joyous, filled with blessings, filled with light, filled with love and joy. Right? Hmm. That's what it is. Anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful, awesome day.